Hello, replay viewers. Here's a giant schooner coming into the, the pier. It came in the other day with 60 passengers and dropped them off for two nights in the hotel. And now it's coming into the pier for a quick pickup. This boat was built in the 20s and run as a fishing schooner until the 50s. I hope I have a signal. I don't see any hearts. There is someone joining. Hi Chad. Do I, Chad, do I have a, a signal? It looks like they're coming in at <laughs> like they've missed their approach. Yes, thank you. I'm not sure how they're going to do this. If there's an offshore wind makes it a little more challenging. Well, we docked them yesterday. I saw you using your tender as a bow thruster. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah. I mean, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> there you we go. fun hanging on the hook out there? What? You have fun hanging on the hook? Oh, on the hook. Yeah, actually. Yeah, it's quite nice. Read a lot. Do you get many quiet times in the summer? Um, no, we usually work a full six days a week. Yeah, so you don't you don't get a day off like this usually. Uh, we'll get usually well usually they try to give us one day off. A yeah. Week, but uh, having a day like this where like we just go hang out. Yeah, just a very like, quiet very time. Nice. Yeah. yeah. No distractions. Yeah, exactly. I can't show you the whole thing. It's too tall. I hung out at the hotel. So the dinghy's pushing the bow in. I still think they should have made a closer approach. This wind is pushing them off. They're breaking up. Alright, I'm standing too near the building. How about over here? Is this any better? I was near this shack. It's probably cutting off the signal. Still, still kind of curious how they're going to do this with this off offshore wind. rubber boats being used as a pusher up at the bow sometimes just a bit better all right is it pixelated Chad maybe that building's still blocking the signal well this is gonna be a long process it seems I bet they go around again The guy at the wheel is using his radio to communicate. Wait, Shoal Island, Star Island, Shoal? Hi, Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Haven't seen you for a while. I haven't. That's because I haven't scoped for a while. But this is spectacular enough. Whoever's right? pumping the hearts, that's appreciated. It means I know I have a signal that's working. They're going to back up and try again. So here's another deckhand waiting down there. They dropped off three three people to help. This schooner makes the rounds, but it's based in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Thank you, Karen. So the goal, the project, the idea is to dock for a short time and they'll take on a load of passengers for a three-hour sail. 
well, not quite three, maybe a two-hour sail. This is a heavy boat. Those guys are standing in front of me. I can't get a view. Back up and try again. Uh, I don't know if this bill has been here before. It, uh, let's put it this way. It hasn't been here while I've been here, so that's not much of a data point, though. Going to the Big E, that's quite a trip. A little tricky maneuvering in here. The Big E is a giant uh, fair. So they have to be careful they don't get cut up in, in lobster pots and... Hi Divine. Alright, thanks Chad. Lobster pots and mooring balls. It's a long trip for you, Karen. See, this is, this is the better approach. It's also high tide, which helps a little bit. Hey, Sue, how are you? So anyone who's just recently joined, this boat was used for fishing from the mid-20s to the mid-50s. And then as an excursion schooner in Maine, and now it's in Gloucester. And it's been restored for a considerable sum, a seven-figure sum. It was saved from the destruction block. There we go, now we get the whole view. Uh, Divine, I am not enjoying my new boat because it's not ready yet. I checked on it two days ago and they're still working on things. Which was slightly disappointing, but we're also having a heat wave, so it wasn't like I could do very much the next three days. So I'm out here and it's about 10 degrees cooler than it is on the mainland. Plus there's a nice breeze. And if they like this boat, oh wait, someone wants to be interviewed. Unexpected oh. interview. <laughs> All right, and what did you want to say? And if you like the adventure as a schooner, check out the Ernestina, which was built in 1894 and is uh, currently going under very extensive total uh, repairs up in a boatyard at... Uh, um, Bar Harbor? Yep, in uh, Southwest Harbor. Okay. Hinkley, probably. One of the boatyards. Yes. Yep. And it, um, and the Ernestina paid a visit, possibly on the Halifax to Bermuda um, regatta or race mm -hmm. uh, back in 2005 or 2006. And it overnighted here. And then early in the morning, it sailed out through the gap between Star Island and White Island in a morning fog, and it too is painted jet black with you, with real gold. You know your decoration. boats. All right, thank you for the unexpected interview. <laughs> <laughs> and go on the website. Oh, and wait, wait, there's more. Oh, he's wrapping also, up. Here's the wrap up. <laughs> uh, it it is the ship for New Bedford, and there's a beautiful song that was composed to raise funds for its restoration called Lovely Ernestina. The melody is, is simple but beautifully heartrending and it has gorgeous lyrics like um, all my life I've been singing this song about our history is dead and gone but our history is alive as we sail along Lovely Ernestina. I think you should be in the talent show. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Well, we're not racing uh, small boats.
we have a boat coming over from, actually it's probably already here, somewhere, for, the Blue Nose should be around the area somewhere right now, sailing to Gloucester. There's a, a large boat uh, get together on Friday in Gloucester. So the Blue Nose 2 from Nova Scotia will be there, this one, this boat will be there. All right, now they're doing a better, a better approach. Got to come in at a better angle. Water's very deep here, so that's not an issue. And if they don't come in fast enough, they don't have any steerage. See, they're getting blown off, blown off by the breeze. Yep, the Blue Nose 2. And if you ask a Canadian, it's the Blue Nose 3 because the, the 2 was pretty much completely uh, removed. This offshore wind is definitely causing some complications. I can see how the stern's being pushed out. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think their chances are? Yeah, well, no, you can't throw a line that much. To get a spring line on, and the stern's going out. Then, of course, what you have is a tourist boat. Like, look out! 